Well, hello there, my brain watch. That's Joshua again. So it appears that um, my last video about atheism is a bad bet really ticked off a lot of atheists. I mean, I've gotten more comments on that video than any other comment I've made in the past four months. Like, seriously, they hate Pascal. They hate Pascal with a passion. So uh, I wanted to address some of the issues that they brought up because there's just way too many comments for me to like answer them all because I'm just repeating myself over and over again. And I'm going to try and remember them all, but if not, I'll just make another video because obviously you guys, you atheists love my channel. So I'm just going to keep making videos to answer your questions rather than responding in the comments because it's just better that way. All right. So uh, biggest problem, when I made that graph, I made basically two on top, two on the side, and I did not account for all the different faiths. That is true. I did not account for all the faiths. And I, I said in the video that this is the most basic version of this graph. The absolute most basic version of this graph. Because I just wanted to sit there and write down every single thing. This is the thing. The Bible says that straight and narrow is the way and few shall find it. Few shall find it. So yes, there is only one true faith. There is only one true faith. And all the other faiths are leading people down the broad and crooked path. So when they are led astray, they're led astray. Atheism... Atheism is not a faith. They're not even close because they don't if they can't believe that God exists, you don't even you're not even looking for a path. So it's a better bet to find a religion. At least you're closer than not looking at all. So, you know, whatever. Uh, another thing. Dude the concept of spirituality in modern day society, when it's specifically, specifically when it comes to like um, science, um, if you look, there's this great quote and it says that anybody that understands quantum mechanics doesn't understand quantum mechanics. If somebody says they understand quantum mechanics, they're wrong. You don't. So this is the issue. I, I would say that modern day quantum mechanics is the uh, basically spirituality. It is the essence of spirituality. Just it's what real spirituality is before we had quant uh, before we had quantum mechanics. And now I know this is gonna throw the atheists off in a freaking tailspin, and I'm I'm down. But there are interesting things that happen with quantum mechanics that nobody can explain. They just know it works that way. You can't explain quantum mechanics. You can't explain why it works or how it works. You just know it works. Same thing with spiritual things, man. And uh, basically manifesting like the Heisenberg principle, man. If I, the, the outcome of an, of an experiment changes depending on what you're measuring for, that's based off belief. Jesus Christ said, If any man say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not have doubt, he shall have whatsoever he saith. It's belief. It's, it's whatever you, if you believe something to be true, and okay, and also, that's gonna also. I believe that spiritual beings are basically like multidimensional creatures that back in the day, they didn't understand what a, a, a multidimensional creature was. So they just said, oh, they're a spirit being. I believe that God being outside of our reality can just create like that. He's like, listen, just as you move through two dimensional space in three dimensions, I can move through creation of a universe from foundation to destruction in an instant because I am a multidimensional being. Being a multidimensional being just means you're, you have higher levels of perception of reality. And if there are two, if there, so this thing, if you have, if you have creatures on a three dimensional plane, why can't you have creatures on a fourth dimensional plane? Why can't you have creatures on a fifth dimensional plane? Why can't you have creatures? On, and each dimensional plane where it has more and more life in it is going to be, uh, what is it? Exponentially more, more, uh, a powerful, than the one beneath it. So, <laughs> what <laughs> spirituality, the existence of God, so it gets to the point, like, like if you ever look at uh, Carl Sagan, great guy, okay, he has that, that parable, or parable, it's basically a parable, the example of the flat earthers, or not the flat earthers, sorry, the flatlanders, the flat earthers, completely different thing, I'm not a flat earther, by the way, uh, flatlanders, where they have the two-dimensional being uh, on a two-dimensional plane, and then you have a three-dimensional being that can pick it up and teleport it and move through the plane and, you know, do lots of, you can see through, well, it's basically, look up flatlanders, I don't, I'm not going to put a lot of time and effort into that, but look up flatlanders, and it basically is an example of what a fourth-dimensional being would look like to a three-dimensional people by using a two-dimensional example. 
And I just say, spiritual beings are 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th, 11th, 12th, whatever dimensional being that's out there. And the greater up you go until you get to the end, which is God, the existence of God, which is the, ele the, the 11th dimensional being that just said, boom, I'm going to create everything. And there it was. Yeah. So um, this, this, I don't see, I say that probabilistically God exists. I'm, I'm saying that it's more than likely that God exists because if life can exist in a three-dimensional world, why can't life exist in multiple dimensional worlds up until the point of absolute, you know, whatever. Anyway, this will be fun. Let's see what you guys have to say because obviously you atheists love my channel and I'm really excited to see what you have to say in rebuttal. You guys have a great day. Peace, love, and goodness forever. You know I love God because I love virtue, justice, and salvation. What's up?